Here's what's happening right now at 6, remembering Deputy Darren Goforth one year later. The memory of that has got to be so horrific. You just don't know how long the healing process will take. Friends share never before seen photos of the deputy as they wait for closure. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman in for Dominique. A community still mourning the loss of Harris County Deputy Darren Goforth. He was gunned down as he pumped gas at a Chevron station on West Road in Cypress on August 28th of last year. Now Shannon Miles is accused in the deputy's death. He's charged with capital murder, which means the death penalty is a possible sentence. Channel 2 investigator Jace Larson joining us live now with where the case stands right now. Jace. Hey guys, any trial is still a long way off. That's because that suspect is in a mental health hospital. They're trying to make him competent to stand trial. But as we approach this one year anniversary of Deputy Goforth's death, his friends and family will be focusing on him, not the suspect. Deputy Darren Goforth's friends know much has been said about the case in the year since he died. But this weekend, they're remembering the kind, happy man that they loved. Birthdays and get togethers made for some of the best times, friends tell me. This is Deputy Goforth in the striped shirt 20 years ago, and just a few years ago, celebrating again with one of his friends. I think the trauma of this tragic crime uh, still weighs so heavy on the family that it's going to take time to heal. Rick Hartley of the 100 Club, which helps provide financial assistance to families of law enforcement killed in the line of duty, says that anniversaries often remind families of their loss. And in this case, Goforth's friends and loved ones have months to still wait for closure. The alleged killer was found incompetent to stand trial, and he's now undergoing mental health treatment. That can take four months or much longer. Goforth died August 28th of last year. The memory of that has got to be so horrific to the family that uh, you just don't know how long the healing process will take. Friends and family plan to gather in Goforth Park tomorrow for a public memorial service. The park was named after him following his murder. And that public memorial service begins tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. If you'd like to go to that service, I've put all of the information, including the address, on our website at clicktohouston.com. Live downtown, Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you.